Good morning, you guys, and Merry Christmas Eve. Oh my gosh. First, let me address my black eye. My black eye, my nubs of nails. Like, I literally am such a hot mess right now. Not even hot. I'm literally just a mess right now. I am with Tundi Bear right now, and we are about to go get some Dunkin' Donuts. We're going to get some Christmas Dunkin', and then I'm going to drop Tundi off at the house, and I am going to go to the gym. And I'm going to get in a little Christmas Eve gym sesh. The gym closes early today because of the holiday. So I kind of just want to go sweat a little bit, move my body, and then come home, blow dry my hair get it all fresh for Christmas Eve. And as far as my plans for the day, I don't really have anything family related going on until tonight. We do Christmas Eve at my grandmother's house every year. So we're gonna go to grandma's house later. I need a coffee IV this week, guys. I literally feel like a dead man walking. Okay, you guys, we are in the Dunkin' drive through so I have a couple minutes to catch you guys up. First of all, this person in front of me has a Harry Potter sticker on the back of their car. It has the Deathly Hollows. But literally so much has happened this week. Oh my God. Between actual working, finishing up Christmas, Christmas shopping because this year I was so unprepared literally so unprepared it's not even funny and also I went for a trip to see Timmy so I drove to New York hung with Timmy we did a little Christmas celebration we had so much freaking fun spent some time with Timmy and his family it was literally the best time ever it put me in the spirit so much like I really needed that also Ariana has been teasing that her album is coming ah, like what oh my god I can't I'm so excited ag7 is literally on its way she's been posting something on all of the sevens of the month and it is confirmed we're getting this album to start the new year it's coming soon hi how can i help you can i please have a medium ice cold brew black medium ice cold brew black and then can i just get a second black cold brew but with no ice sure and as far as my black eye situation you guys i'm literally so dumb i bent down to get my shoes when i was leaving my grandmother's house and i smacked my head off of this like thing sticking up from her chair I'll show you guys later when we go to grandma's house. It did not hurt that bad in the moment, but of course I got a black eye. Literally the next morning when I was waking up to go to Timmy's house, I could see it, it was starting to turn green and now it's legitimately a black eye. But yeah, it is Christmas Eve. I have some last minute things I need to do today. I don't really need to go shopping for anything. I'm. I'm good. I finally did the shopping. Christmas shopping took me out this year, y'all. Like, I'm sorry, but next year, me making it another year is y'all's gift. As I'm getting older, Christmas just less and less and less and less becomes about gifts. It honestly, like when I was little, it wasn't even about gifts, but we are in a world where every holiday is just like, become a Hallmark holiday and we're expected to just like get things for everybody and like spend all this money all month long. I'm done. We are taking it back to Buddy the Elf. Like if you want something from me, I am going to decorate your house for Christmas with snowflakes made out of free paper. Like that's where we're at. It is bittersweet that Christmas is tomorrow. I'm excited, but I'm also like excited for it to be over. And I can't believe I'm saying that because I love Christmas so much. But you guys, this one took me out. I felt so festive this Christmas. Like I really felt like I got my Christmas like like Buddy the Elf spark back, but also at the same time, like the money part of it all. But you know what? It is what it is. It is over and done with now. Tonight is all about celebrating. Thank you to everyone who works on the holiday and can't spend it with their family because they're busy trying to keep things running. Shout out to you. Shout out to retail workers during this season, emergency workers. Thank you. I'm so grateful I don't have to work today. And I'm so grateful I don't have to work tomorrow. I'm just so glad to have a couple of days with my family. Hi. Hi. Just drink? Yes. Tell me your dog's name again. Tundra. That's for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Can Tundra have a, a Christmas Oh my god, yes! Thank you so much! You guys are the best! You got a toy, Tandy! Yeah, I'll let you guys see her. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! <laughs> He's so cute! Thank you! You guys are her favorite! And literally, I say we're going to Duncan every morning and she is ready. There you go, baby! Thank you guys! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. I'll see you soon! I love them. They love Tundra so much at our Duncan. They are the best. Like, how cute is this? I'm literally keeping this bag forever. Christmas Eve workout complete. Now I am so sweaty and gross and I want to get back in my bed. What's up you guys? It is a lot later now. It's currently 4.30. I spent the day relaxing, like trying to get zen. I feel a little bit more zen now, but I just feel like I got so overwhelmed earlier. Like when I was leaving the gym, I was so overwhelmed just like about Christmas and just everything. 
going on right now in life and I just needed a minute. So the gym definitely helped. Then I came home and put away some laundry. I did like some things I really needed to do around my room and around the house. And then I took a nice everything shower, which made me feel completely reset. Like I literally feel like a whole new woman now. I blew out my hair. So I have like fresh, clean hair. It feels so good. So now I'm trying to attempt to cover up my black eye, make myself look a little bit more presentable so that hopefully I feel a little bit better, you know? Cause I feel like sometimes when you look better, it makes you feel better. My hair is really messy though. Like the braid is really messy today but yeah i'm just feeling a lot better i didn't vlog throughout the day because i mean honestly i didn't really do much i just told you everything i did it's, the only thing i missed was that i had lunch in the middle of all that feeling a lot better now i've been watching my comfort show desperate housewives i'm almost done with it i'm so sad i'm halfway through season seven and there's only eight seasons so i'm just like I'm gonna be really sad when that's over. I'm gonna have to find a new comfort show to watch. I've kind of already decided, I think after I finish Desperate Housewives, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna restart Shameless. I'm really feeling like I need to watch Shameless again. Shameless just makes me feel so seen. Like it makes me feel so validated. And if you relate to that, I'm sorry. Like Shameless is my comfort show and Shameless, if you've seen it, Yes, I have mental problems, it's fine. I feel like I'm just coming down off of like a mix of feelings. Like first of all, the end of the year always makes me feel some type of way because reflecting on the past year just is something that really can send me into a spiral. <laughs> I don't know, it's just crazy to think about another year coming and going. At the end of a year, if it wasn't going the way you wanted it to go or if traumatic stuff happened in your year, like sometimes it's just not a good time to reflect. Sometimes reflecting brings a lot of emotions on and that's kind of how I feel right now. I feel like I'm just ready for a new year Year. but with that being said just like reflecting on everything that happened this year is just like really heavy and it's making me feel some type of way we are about to put all that aside though and we're gonna have a good christmas eve i hope you guys have all had an amazing christmas season i hope it did not bring you too much stress i hope it did not break your bank account and i hope that you got to enjoy your family and your loved ones because that's genuinely what it's all about like if you needed a reminder that is what christmas is about it's about spending time with people that you love like i'm i'm, I'm done with hallmark hallmark needs to be canceled we need to stop making things all about like things i don't know how this is gonna go this black eye has really been just really been giving me a hard time i've been wearing sunglasses all week so that no one will see it i am just so ready for this new year you guys like i cannot wait i feel like it's gonna bring so many good things like i have a really really good feeling about 2024 i don't like the number three it does not bring me good energy i have a feeling that's about as good as it is gonna get because i am not a professional makeup artist i do not know how to color correct i do not know how to get rid of that so i I'm just gonna leave it like that so I don't make it worse. And I'm just gonna put on mascara and hope for the best. Luckily, my eyelashes get pretty long. And also I have a pair of glasses in my car, like blue light glasses. And if I put those on, it covers it perfectly. I mean, this happened at my grandmother's house for crying out loud. When she sees it, she's gonna be like, oh my God, it left a mark. Also, how cute are my little light bulb earrings? I love them. I got this pack of Christmas earrings, like, july of 2022 i think these were in the checkout and it was like a whole pack of them and i've slowly been using them throughout the christmas season okay let's see if mascara can cover up this black eye okay we are all ready i have to go downstairs now and put together a caesar salad that i'm bringing for dinner tonight and i have to grab a couple things in the basement like a couple of gifts that i'm bringing to my grandma's house this is the outfit we are wearing i have a north pole shirt on and i'm gonna just wear black leggings and some like high socks with these shoes i literally bought these so many years ago thinking i could wear them at christmas time they're green and white filas and i never wear them like i don't even actually know if i've ever worn them once i might have because they're kind of dirty. We're at grandma's house. Kaylee's about to pop a bottle. Hi Max. Oh my god. I covered it up with makeup but I have a black eye. I noticed. From I this. What? I bent down on where your hand is to get my sneakers and I smacked my eye off of that. When? Wednesday night, I think. I thought you had like eyeshadow, but I was like, yeah. on that side. <laughs> Grandma was like, oh, I hope that doesn't turn into a black eye. And I was like, I, don't, I doubt it. And then the next morning, I see it. I, I thought I left mascara on. I was rubbing it and then it hurt. And I was like, oh. Remind you? Remember when I hit my eye the other night? Oh, yeah. I said, are you all right? <laughs> yeah. Is it recording? Yeah. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Ooh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Cheers. Merry Christmas, Tandy. 
Oh, look at your pretty sweater. Merry Christmas. Good girl. Merry Christmas. Loki, right here, baby. There you go. Loki, what are you doing? Get down. You're a little cookie thief. Huh, oh, you're a little cookie thief. Oh my god, this is so cool. Now she's about to have her seventh album, so we'll have to get an updated one. That's funny. That's so cool. Electric wine opener. Ooh, I love that. Oh my god, what the heck? I needed a new one of this too. Mine has like a few drops left. Good girl. Oh, I forgot I asked for this. Merry Christmas, you guys. I am about to leave for Devin's house. I just packed up my car. I have my coffee that I got yesterday from Duncan. Also, don't mind the nail glue. I was literally just fixing my nails. But I wanted to show you guys my sweater. It's my Santa Tell Me sweater. It says Santa Tell Me on the sleeves. It's so cute. This is from Moonlight Fits on Instagram. You just have to DM them to order. I am obsessed. This is my like second or third sweater that I have from them. The quality is so good. It is overseas shipping for me in America. So just keep that in mind. And I tried my best to cover my black eye. Off we go. Devin are in the basement doing presents. I'm not gonna film everything, but I will put the camera over there just so it records like a time lapse.
What's up you guys? I'm chilling in my room. I have all my presents here and I figured to wrap up this video I could show you guys some of what I got for Christmas. I know I was literally just saying in the vlog how I wish that Christmas was not about presents. Obviously I want to preface that I am so thankful for any gift that I got from any single person. I'm so grateful for my family. I'm so grateful for Devin's family. I'm so grateful for my friends. I had a great Christmas. It was so good to spend time with family and friends and to have time off from work. I'm just so grateful. So I did just want to preface with that. I do feel like I got some really special things from some really special people in my life So I did just want to share them with you guys So I figured we could wrap up this vlog and do a little what I got for Christmas I cannot believe that it is already a new year in a way this year has felt so long But it's also felt like it's gone by so quick I just feel so weird right now about time time is going by at a very odd pace I don't really know what's going on. I'm having trouble keeping up. But anyway, let's get into what I got for Christmas I have a very big messy pile in front of me. I'm gonna pull things in completely random order because I have no organization whatsoever into what is going on here. The first thing I got is from my grandmother and she made this custom spoon that says I love you more. Whenever we say we love her she's like I love you more. For now I'm gonna keep it on display. Someday when I have my own house I'll probably use this as my teaspoon or something like that. Like when I have tea in the mornings I feel like that would be really cute. So I'm obsessed with this. It's so special. I am so grateful for my grandma. The next thing here is is a mug from my sister Morgan and it has Tundra animated on it. Can you believe it? That's literally Tundra. It looks just like her. So I imagine Morgan must have like sent a photo in or something and they animated her, but it has pink on the inside. I'm obsessed with it. This bag just has some candy in it. Devin gave me this on Christmas Eve. I think this is all of my stocking stuff. So I'm not gonna go through everything in here. I got a pair of gloves from my mom. I really needed some gloves and these are pink. They're so cute. In fact, I'm gonna leave these out so I can put those in my purse. And then she also got me this little poster of all of Ariana's eras. As soon as I opened it up, I was like, oh my gosh, we're gonna have to add on another layer soon because she's gonna have her seventh era coming, her seventh album. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited. This next gift was from A Secret Santa and it is a Tundi shirt. It says Tundra with her outline. And on the back, it says In My Dog Mom Era. This was from My Secret Santa with Devin's friend group and I just like I could have cried when I opened this it was the sweetest thing ever so thoughtful there is another gift that goes with that but I don't know where it is in the pile we'll eventually get to it the next thing is from Maddie and Jason and they got me a couple of these little they're like the beer can style coffee glasses and this one has clouds all over it which you guys already know as soon as I opened this up I was like this is literally perfect and then they got me another one that says coffee I'm really excited to use these to make my coffee in the mornings and it came with glass straws which I'm excited for as well I kind of want to start buying glass straws and like replacing some of my other straws that I have that are reusable the next thing is from my mom and I am so obsessed with this freaking bag this is a new laptop bag and it's really really thick it has a lot of pockets it's pretty big as you can see this is like one of my hands it's very very large and inside of it it did not come this way but inside of it i put this mod blush kit that my mom got me for christmas i am so excited about this i needed a new mod blush so badly i'm running out currently and this set comes with a full-sized mod blush a mini little mod blush for your purse or wherever and it comes with this adorable mod blush shower gel ornament it smells so 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 good i was extremely excited to open this back to the laptop bag fits quite a few things in here i actually have some gifts shoved in here i guess i have a lint roller that my mom got me which is literally perfect because i just used the last sheet of my lint roller in my car the other day so i need that and she got me an electronic bottle opener for wine bottles i'm very excited to use that i cannot wait but this laptop bag is so spacious i cannot wait to use it and put my laptop in here and start traveling with my laptop next time I go to the airport too this could be my new airport bag it's so big I'm so obsessed with it oh I found the other gift I was talking about from our secret Santa it says tundra and it's just a little keychain that I can put on my keys super sweet like literally all the gifts I got this year were so thoughtful it just 
that has me emotional. Next up is this adorable Beauty and the Beast pop doll set that my uncle Todd got for me. I just think it is so adorable. The scene is so cute. I just, I love Beauty and the Beast. So the fact that he thought of me and got this, again, had me tearing up. I was like, I cannot believe he did this for me. <sighs> I cannot wait to put this on display somewhere. I think I'm gonna have to hang it up in the basement because I don't want to take it out of the box. I kind of want to keep it perfect. So I'm gonna hang the whole box up. The next gift here is from my sister Morgan and this was to me and Devin. And this one is so <laughs> sweet and cute. Morgan got me this adorable custom made Beauty and the Beast ornament that says tale as old as time and it has me and Devin's anniversary date on it and says Amber and Devin with Belle and the Beast on it. Like this is so, so sweet. I can't even handle it. That one was so special. I'm going to hang it right here so I can look at it all the time. Shout out to Morgan. That was so sweet. And then I think now we're kind of shifting on to Devin's family's gifts. First thing I got is a circle bottle. Not only just a circle bottle, but they customized it for me and put my name on it. And if you guys have never heard of this, basically Circle is a company that sells, from what I understand, flavored water pods. So you can fill this up with water and then you screw in this pod to your lid. You basically put the pod in and you'll have of flavored water. So this one is mixed berry and then the other one is fruit punch. So I'm probably going to fill this up later. I'm so excited. I love the little holographic letters on the front. I cannot wait to try that. Devin and his family have had those circle bottles for a while now. So I've tried Devin's and they're so delicious. The next thing I got is from Devin's grandma and she got me Cloud by Ariana Grande, which of course I already broke into. I already opened it up as soon as I got it because I haven't had a Cloud perfume in a while. If you guys have been keeping up with my saga of the Cloud perfumes, I returned one recently because it smelled like straight up alcohol, but this one smells just like the OG. This is a complete conspiracy theory, but I just personally feel like they've reformulated it. For instance, this one smells like OG Cloud. It smells so good and so strong right off the first spray, but certain bottles that I've been purchasing or smelling in the store don't smell good. Like it's been hit or miss. So I feel like the older formulated ones that are still on the shelf, like this probably is, smell really, really delicious. And the newer ones just don't smell as good. So I don't know. Again, that's just a conspiracy theory. That's just my own experience with it. This one smells delicious and I am just so glad to have a cloud perfume again. I also got a new little rubber pad that is for hot tools. It is this little silicone mat that you can put down and you can put your hot tools on top of it. And then when you're done, you can put them inside and it cools them down for you and it's like heat proof so you could literally stick your curling iron in this throw it in your bag if you're traveling the heat is going to stay contained inside of this and it's safe to put in your bag i'm obsessed with this i don't know where she got it from but i assume you could probably look up hot tool holder or hot tool styling mat on amazon and i'm sure you could find one but this is a lifesaver i'm obsessed with it devin's mom also got me this little perfume tool put this on top of one of your old perfumes and like pump it and it will get the leftover perfume in here i guess i don't know how to use it. I, I'm gonna have to experiment with it, but I'm very excited because I have a tiny little bit left in my mod blush. So I feel like this will be perfect to empty that out. Next thing from Devin's mom that I got for Christmas is this new purse and it is a pink and white and gray Michael Kors bag and it's literally so so beautiful when I opened this I was so speechless I could not even believe first of all how perfect and beautiful it is but second of all that she even did this for me I cannot wait to tear this open and fill it up with all of my stuff it's perfect because my gloves match it my little tundi ornament match like I just everything pink always I am so excited about this bag I am obsessed with the color it's like a pinky peach and I just love the gold hardware it is so freaking cute and it's the perfect size. This is just perfect. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to use this bag. Then from Devin's sister, she made me this crew neck and tie dyed this thing and put the lettering on. It says, can't talk, I'm editing. And this thing is so comfortable. Oh my gosh, I put it on and I was wearing it for a little while. This thing is so, so cute and so comfortable. I am so obsessed. I'm so grateful. Just the fact that she did this herself and hand tie dyed it, it's just so thoughtful to me. And I just, I love Love this so much. I am so grateful. The next thing that I'm gonna say is from Devin's Nana, but Tundi is currently laying on it. She made me this blanket and it's pink and it has a little bit of purple in it as well. Clearly it is very comfortable because Tundra is knocked out. But not only that, she also made me their family's version of my family's candy cane cookies. If you guys know, like the candy cane cookies in my family are like a Christmas tradition. So for them, they have these peanut butter bars that everybody loves. And so not only did she give me a package of them, she also gave me the recipe. 
so I could make them myself, which is so sweet. To have a nice little cute tradition passed down from his family is so sweet. Moving on, last but not least, let me show you guys what Devin got for me. The first thing that I've already torn into are Oreo cake stirs. These are my favorite snack pretty much ever. Like they are my favorite things ever. One thing about me is that I have consistently always been obsessed with the Oreo franchise ever since I was a kid. When I had Twitter, I used to blow up Nabisco and Oreo's Twitters because I wanted free Oreo products. Oreo Cakesters take the cake. Like, <laughs> No pun intended. He also got me a Mod Blush perfume because he knew I needed some more. The next thing that Devin got me that is like the most exciting thing ever to me are these platform mini Uggs. I have wanted these so bad, so cute. I am literally obsessed with these. I cannot wait to wear the heck out of them. I used to have a pair of Uggs long, long ago and then I got Tundra. She chewed a hole in the big toe of one of my Ugg boots. So I unfortunately had to discard of them. But before that, they had lasted me for 10 years and I waterproofed them when I first got them. So I definitely want to spray these with some waterproofing spray so that these can last for hopefully 10 more years. We'll see. I literally mentioned to Devin like once or twice back in like October or November that I really wanted to get these. I kept calling them thick Uggs. I was like, I really want to buy the thick Uggs. And I almost bought them so many times, but I had to talk myself out of it because I was like, girl, it is Christmas. We cannot be buying ourselves expensive shoes. He had never even seen a picture of them and he just went online and guessed and got those. And thankfully he got the right size and the right color and the right style. So that was that. And then Devin got me one more gift and it was basically a night at one of our favorite hotels in Boston. So that doesn't really have a date to it. We're kind of just going to pick and choose whenever we want to go. I basically have a little voucher a little Devin voucher so that we can go whenever we want. But yeah, that is it, you guys. That is pretty much everything I got for Christmas. I might be forgetting a couple of things. You know what? Actually, I am. Shout out to Timmy. Timmy got me so many thoughtful gifts for Christmas. We did our Christmas gift exchange a few days before Christmas. I went up to New York and visited with him and we had our little Christmas extravaganza. Shout out to Timmy. I unfortunately did not include his gifts in here. Huge shout out to everybody else who got me a present. And for everyone who I got to spend time with this month, and visit with and see like that to me is just as important as gifts that to me is more important than gifts I'm just so grateful for everything this year good or bad because there has been plenty of bad but also I feel like I sometimes will dwell so much on the bad that I'll forget about all the good stuff that happened and like not only that but the bad things that did happen this year all taught me lessons and all made me stronger. I just find that now based on just what I like experiences that I went through, I just feel like now I'm having an easier time dealing with hard things because I'm just getting stronger, I guess. I'm so grateful for you guys being here still and watching my videos and supporting me. If you guys have been here for a while, you probably have seen plenty of videos of me in these onesie PJs on Christmas doing Christmas videos. I'm just so grateful that you're still here and that you're still watching and I'm really looking forward to this new year. So if you are joining me in another new year, I'm so grateful. And also I feel like it's completely normal to outgrow people. Like that's another thing because I'll see some people who will comment randomly on my content and be like, oh my God, I haven't seen you in so long. I used to watch your videos so many years ago, but like I kind of outgrew it. Like things like that are so normal and I'm just so grateful for the people who have been growing with me and even people who have grown apart from me, like that's fine. That is so fine. I outgrow creators that I watch online. Sometimes you just are in a different phase of your life and you kind of like need something different. You need different content to consume. There is nothing wrong with that. But with that being said, like for people who have grown with me or people who have grown apart and like found their way back, I'm just so grateful that you're here and I'm so grateful that we can cross paths and that we can be on this journey together. I am done rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed your holiday. Thank you for celebrating with me. I'm so glad I got to bring you guys along for another year of Christmas traditions. I just hope you had a happy, healthy, safe holiday and I hope you have a happy new year. I hope it brings you everything you want and need and more. Before I go, this is this week's shout out of the week. Shout out to you, boo. Shout out to everybody watching. I love you so much. Merry Christmas, happy new year, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.